Okay, we went through video one and why that's so important, but this video is really important because it's all about the interviewing of candidates. So let's get started and really share with you some things you should consider. Now, as we're looking at top tier candidates, we're really fielding, they're fielding multiple offers. So you have to realize if you want to stay competitive, you've got to move fast and really give them feedback to the candidates quickly and often throughout the process. Or you risk the chance of losing the most talented individuals to a competing offer. So you shouldn't rush the process, but you have to be thoughtful of your applicants, really setting what's most important of your core competencies and really knowing the role that you're hiring for well so you have help in really selecting a criteria that will help you move forward in each step of the process. And we're gonna talk more about that. But the thing when we're talking about knowing your core competencies, your candidates need for each position and why that's so important. Let's start by really thinking about when we look at core competencies, it's the skills, though it's the 10 most important. And then we can always narrow that down and we really wanna concentrate on five of the most important core competencies. So we realize you need more competencies for every job, but the thing is, five is the kind of the make or break attributes of the person for their role that why it's so important. We've supplied you with a list of competencies to choose from on a worksheet that then you can help decide the most important ones for each role that you're hiring. But it's in the download, so we've made it easy for you and you can take a look at that. So now, once you've identified them, you will know what qualifications and skills you're looking for on their resume, in their application, and later as you're going through the interview process. For example, let me give you an example. If you were looking for an administrative assistant, you may decide the most important, important five core competencies to be the following. Of course, they need to have good communication, right? They need to be really good at time management. I want an administrative assistant that can problem solve. I want an administrative assistant because it'd be detailed oriented because maybe I'm not. And number five is about scheduling. So now as I've got those core competencies, I look at that and that's what I start interviewing on and looking at. The second one, let's give you another example of a collection agent. That they're gonna be drastically different. A collection agent's gonna need emotional intelligence. They're gonna need problem solving skills. They're gonna have to be, have toughness. They're gonna have to have negotiation skills and they've gotta be very results oriented. So always check and really go through what core competency is most important. As you're looking at also, I think it's very important that you look at the references for potential candidates. We've included a link with interviewing downloadable PDF that you can use at the bottom of page three of the 20 best reference check questions for your review. So now let's really look at the interviewing process to make sure where we're at. This becomes so vital because the interviewing is really where you get the magic. So number one, we've talked about, you gotta respond quickly to your candidates because they're also sending in to other organizations. So as you're doing this, always try to respond to applicants within 24 to 48 hours after they've applied and really let them know what the next step is and when you plan on contact, contacting them again for the person to be really potential hire of interviewing them. When you're in the process, they wanna know what they expect. You are probably not the only company they're applying to as we discussed. Now we've provided you some examples with response templates in Word document downloads that you can edit and make your own. Didn't we make it easy for you? That's the key. Now my first step when I go through the interview process, I always do phone interviews. This is your choice, but it saves a lot of time. Once I have that pool of potential candidates that's been selected, a quick telephone interview, normally less than 30 minutes, should be conducted before anyone is brought in for a face-to-face -face interview because it saves you time and saves them time. Make it easy for them, make it easy for you. This step helps you narrow the pool of candidates considerably and presents an opportunity to address any unclear resume or application items. Plus, you can ask some questions to find out if they're a good fit for their organization. Remember, do not hire on emotion. Most employers hire on emotion 
Emotional hiring can be influenced by speed, panic, and trying to just get the job done. Really, what you have to do in the next video, we're going to share with you how to avoid the pitfalls of using a hiring filter that will help you in this process. Now, would it be surprising to know that in many cases, the decision to hire someone happens within the first five minutes of meeting him or her? Many times a candidate is hired for his or her charm instead of his or her job-related knowledge, skills, or attributes, or abilities. Now, what we do is here to change that is behavior-based questions. We focus on past behavior and experience, which should be a good indication of how the candidate will perform in the future position. Now, let's put this together. Because why is core competencies you decided on your behavior-based questions? So what you do is you use those core competencies and we have behavior-based questions that coincide with those. We are giving you 600 behavior-based interview questions matched with the 60 core companies as a PDF download. Did we not make it easy for you? That's why we're doing that. We want you to hire on core competencies. All you have to do is pick the one or two questions from each of the five core competencies, look at the interview questions we have in that behavior-based questions, and pick those. We've got them all filled out for you. In our next video, you're gonna, the next thing you're gonna do is use a hiring filter. After you've selected the candidates in the hiring filter, this form allows you to evaluate each candidate based on those five core competencies you selected. Then after all the interviews are completed, you're going to compare the candidate. We're going to continue with the hiring filter in the next video. So I'll give you the details of how to use that and a download for you to use also in our next video. Now, I really hope you got something out of this interviewing, why it's so important. So thank you for joining me. Now, if you've not already opted in to receive the full Success in Hiring video series and downloads, you can do so by going to successinhiring.biz. Please like and share the video if you found value in it. And be, be, I hope you will share it with others because if it helps them, I'm excited to be able to do that. Thank you for joining me. Make it a great day.